I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak is a book about a 19 year old boy who, after stopping a bank robbery, goes and starts getting ace playing cards in the mail with names or addresses on them. And so he has to figure out who's on those cards and then go and solve those cards. This book is also about learning to love, doing what's right, and helping others. It's, this book, reading it is a bit like being in a relationship. It's really great until the end. I will keep this review spoiler free when talking about the book. Now, the rest of this book is satisfying and the style really emphasizes slow parts and it slows down and speeds up and it keeps you engaged. And then the end does something interesting. I haven't seen it before in a book, but it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't match the rest of the book. It doesn't, it just doesn't have the same feel to it. And so it feels like the end, it almost isn't part of the book, even though it's the end of the book. It doesn't feel like it's part of the end, it's part of the book. It feels like a different thing. And that's where I don't really like this book. Now, of course, you will have to read it for yourself if you want to find out what happens at the end. But in my opinion, yes, it was original and interesting, but I wasn't a big fan of it. Now, even though the book doesn't execute the ending that well, what it really does execute well is the characters. Most of the characters feel unique. You really get to see Ed Kennedy, the main character, evolve through his struggles and get over hurdles and stuff in the book. And you see him start as one person and end as a different person. And that's the same with some other supporting characters that you see around, like uh, his friend Marv has a really distinct personality and you see in the end when Ed has to help him, you, you see him completely change and you see Marv completely differently. But then there's some others that are, you don't really notice. There's uh, Ed's other friend, Richie, who starts as this one guy and you don't really see him that much and he kind of ends as the same person. And so with the characters, it's really hit or miss. With Ed, it's fine. And you know, with most of his good friends, it's fine. But some of the other supporting characters, it's really like, oh, that person was in the book? Like, I don't really remember it, but okay. So yeah, that the support, the characters can be good and they can be amazing, but other times it doesn't execute it that well. And they're just kind of forgetful. It's really interesting the way that Zusak wrote this book, because I read The Book Thief, also by Marcus Zusak, and it was completely different. And the style that he did in it is he physically separated sentences into paragraphs. So there will be one, par one sentence that you can put all together, but he's cut it up and put it into like a half a page. And it just really just slows the book way down. And it really makes you like, lock into those slow, important moments. And it really kind of, you know, resembles everyday life that, you know, every day isn't going to be fast paced and action here and there. Some parts are going to be boring and not necessarily these parts are boring, but they just get slowed way down and it really helps with the pacing of the book. Some people may not like this book. It's not for everybody. People that like fantasy books probably won't like this book. I, although I have read some fantasy books and I really like this book, it's a great book. But other people that may not like this book is people that want fast past, fast paced action. That this book doesn't have that much of it. You just kind of have to know what you're getting into. People that will like this book though are people that like plot twists and suspense and a bit of mystery and thriller in there. And also people that like drama movies. Now. I really like this book. I recommend that you pick up this book. It shouldn't be that expensive because it's been out for a while now. So yeah, totally recommend this book. I didn't really like the ending though. Um, but yeah, go check it out. Read it for yourself and find out what the ending is. And then you can see if you like it or you don't.